Okay, I want you to be very careful if you try doing something like this at home. This involves a 12 volt high voltage ballast, a D2R HID bulb, and a metal mount. You need to make sure to do this in an electrically safe and fire safe way. Use metal and ceramic materials and insulate everything properly. I don't want you to burn down your house. I don't want you to cause injury to yourself. Make sure you wear sunglasses, UV 400 rated. This is gonna emit intense light. Don't try this at home unless you feel completely comfortable with electrical systems. I'm a battery expert and I work in the industry in lighting. Thanks for watching. Have a look. Here's a brand new box, the unopened and untested one. We can see all the designations on there. We're just gonna use a knife right here to cut through the safety seal. That tells you it's official. When we open it up, we're presented with the base at the bottom. You can see that unusual connector. We're going to just very carefully slide that out. Then the bulb is actually trapped inside this cardboard. So to release it, you have to very carefully hold it by the top like that, and then lift off one and the other. And then while carefully holding that, let go, rotate that out of the way, and then free it into your fingers like that. Make sure you wear gloves. You absolutely do not want any finger oil any finger oil on these bolts, any finger oil will radically shorten the useful life. When you're attaching a bulb to an improvised setup like this, make sure your power is disconnected. You wouldn't want to send power into this high voltage socket over here, which could electrocute or kill you. So make sure everything is secure. Make sure your mount is secure. Make sure everything is stable. When you insert the bulb into the socket, you want to line up those pegs it's gonna make a reassuring click noise as the friction ring seats. Make sure that you rotate it until it makes a full seat into the mount, otherwise it won't be electrically connected correctly. We're using the genuine Phillips here. We can see the quality original since 1914 sticker on the front, it's metallic. There's also a security sticker with hologram on the bottom that shows you it's an official Phillips. You can get that color change to see that it's real. There's a two-dimensional barcode. These are made in Germany, very high quality. It says right there, made in Germany. So I bought these on Amazon. They're about $40 a piece. It's an 85 volt, 35 watt D2R C1 from Phillips. This is going in our 2005 Prius. Because it's so difficult to install, I'm gonna test this before. I made the mount to hold the bulb out of bailing wire, and it's actually attached in this latch here, so this cannot come free. Here, I'm wiggling on it. That's just uh, insulating plastic underneath there. And then the entire setup is held off the ground on a, on a metal container that's also painted, so additional insulation from the floor. Make sure you do something similar to that. Make sure that it's all secure. You don't want anything tipping over. That bulb's gonna get to over a thousand centigrade when it turns on. It's an intensely powerful HID bulb. Here we have a AGM 12 volt sealed lead acid battery, 12 volts, eight amp hours. These are clamps used to connect a battery charger to this battery for recharging. If we test the battery terminals here with this Fluke 83 third gen meter, we can see the voltage is 12.73 or mostly fully charged. These AGM batteries hold their charge really well in storage. I stripped the wires like this so that I can use this to attach the ballast here to this battery. And you can see on this example over here how I've pulled the wire back a little and pinched it. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. I used this tool here, this is a wire stripping tool, to very carefully cut the insulator on the outside of here, and then just pull this down a little bit to expose a small amount of the wire. That feeds 12 volts into this ballast here, in this connector, and then this very high voltage device sends high voltage current into this small bulb right here. And in the very beginning, in the very middle, I mean, of this bulb right in the center here, where my finger's pointed, is a small packet. Let's see if we can zoom in here. There's a small packet. That packet is filled with metal salts. And there's an electrical arc that's gonna occur between those bottom and top electrodes. That wire there feeds up to the top. 
and then the electricity coming in from the bottom, from, the, from down here, feeds this packet, and that packet is going to create an electrical arc that releases more than 3,600 lumens. Okay. Then get that clamp on there. It's all at once. You're gonna do it all at once. You can do it one quick attach like that. And then you can see the light is getting extremely bright. It's almost kind of like looking at a welding arc in a way. It's extremely hyper bright. That's 3,600 lumens coming out. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. We'll do that by briskly removing this wire like that in one swift movement. Wearing gloves, um, you're gonna wanna very carefully insert this back into this cardboard holder. There's little pins that line up at the bottom. Carefully fold that over and then insert it back into the OEM box until you're ready to do the install like that. When it sits down flush, you fold those over and do it like that. Well, thanks for watching, friends. Make sure your connections are solid so it doesn't bobble and start like this. Happy HID lighting. Make sure to align your headlights. Safe travels and Godspeed. Thanks for watching.